may be a bit of a weird one today. I don't know, maybe not. So recently, you may have seen on the channel that I have picked up some cardboard flat minis. There's also a large amount of acrylic or plastic uh, flat minis out there. And as part of that, I found this set very inexpensive, uh, very inexpensive to pick this up because some of these are not cheap. And this is uh, uh, Idols of the Realm 2D Acrylic Miniatures Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft Set 1 from WizKids. And uh, I don't know, here's the back if that's going to show up at all. Anyhow. I'm going to take a look at these. I have not checked out acrylic minis at all. And I've sort of seen some mixed feelings on them. It seems like some folks, um, you know what, I'm just going to cut this. Some folks talk about them being, some folks seem to really like them. Uh, but I have seen references to them being more fragile than some other stuff. Let's see if I can just get into this. I don't want to deal with the cardboard on the blister pack too much. There we go. So let's see what we have. Uh, piece of cardboard, an image. Oh, this has instructions on the back. We have our bases and we have our pieces. Now I have heard a lot about the films of plastic on these that there is not only a film that needs to be removed, but then I believe there may be individually a film on pieces. That I'm not sure about. So let's see. There's one film that actually looks like the only one. I don't see a film on the other side. Now there's a, there's a long... I don't know if this is going to show up at all. You can maybe see at the bottom of the screen there. There's like a long... It looks like a fracture in this, although I don't see any sign that there's a problem. So I don't know what that's about. That came out fairly easy. I don't feel another film on here. So let's see about removing the film. You know, I'm, uh, I see. It's individually cut. So that's why there's still going to be the film on the individual pieces. I see. I don't know how I feel about that. <clears throat> anyway, let's see if I can pop this out. All right, I think I got it out without the film. Maybe. Mm, no, still on there. <laughs> there we go. All right, so this is, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know my D&D &D monsters. This is a Star Spawn Emissary. Uh, just looks kind of like a Shoggoth to me. And let's see. Let's see how easy this goes in. I don't know if I'm on, if I have it on the correct, if there's a side that's better than the other, I don't know. That'll be something to get used to. Okay, it's, I was going to say it goes in real easy, except that that's not true. There we go. So it clicked in. And there we have this thing, and it's standing next to, I think this is a bugbear, maybe? Not a bugbear. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Or a hobgoblin. So, you know, it's pretty big. And does it come off easily? Yes, it comes off easily. That was something I was a little bit concerned about, is how easy they would break down after use. Now... This does mean I'm going to have to have a slightly different way of storing some pieces. That's fine. I'll learn to live with that. Uh, let me see what I have for pieces here. So it says uh, I've got a carrion stalker, an amber monolith. That's this thing. A death knight, gallows speaker, uh, Gramishka. I don't know what that is. Looks like a little goblin guy. I don't know if that's going to show up at all. Uh, Jangshi? Uh, I don't know what that is. Luke Guru, werewolf. 
Okay, Nosferatu, uh, a relentless killer. Okay, uh, Strigoi, which Strigoi looked like. Where's the Strigoi in here? Yeah. Oh, see, that's uh, whatever. I get my D and D monsters confused. Uh, unspeakable horror and a were raven, or I guess which is a were raven. Maybe I don't know. So yeah, so that's what's in here. Uh, let me see if I can pop out another one of these guys, like without breaking anything. I don't think that's going to happen. I think I have to get this film off the back. Smaller base. I'm not sure the film is still on there, so I don't know if that means it's not going to pop onto the, the base or not. Yeah, no, it goes on. Okay. I'll figure out how to get the base, uh, to get the other film piece off. Um, so, yeah, so there we have it. Let me show up. This is the, I guess, the Nosferatu. All right, well, that's acrylic minis. I don't know. They do, they seem fine. You know, they look decent. I do like that the art is, you know, it has a front and back. So that's nice, which is also true of the uh, Way, Wayfair. I always forget what it's called. Wayfair or something or rather. It's down there. It's I, in a previous video. Uh, but it's nice to have the front and back on them. I, I am curious if they will stand up to a lot of use, if the plastic is going to end up being durable, especially with the, the larger pieces. Uh, and and I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. You know, I don't know. So anyway, that's my first taste of acrylic miniatures. These were some flat minis from Van Richten's Guide to What's-It's... Uh, Ravenloft, sure. And uh, uh, like I said, there's a whole bunch of others out there, but uh, they're not always as inexpensive as what I found here, which these just, I lucked into a very cheap set. So would I try more? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. They seem fine as long as I got them cheap. I don't think I would spend, boy, I've seen sets of these things going for 30 plus dollars and for not all that many pieces. And I do feel like, especially with the potential that these are maybe not going to stand up to a lot of use, uh, I think that seems overpriced um, to me. Maybe not to you. Anyway, that's what I got. Take care.